Ha <laughs> ha! It's daddy time. Father's Day is here once again. But if you were trying, guys, we have a dad, Daddy Ned. The three of us are going to try to compete to give him the best Father's Day present. And then he's gonna open the surprise gifts not knowing who got what and decide which one he likes best. Daddy's favorite. Thanks to Norton360 for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Happy almost Father's Day. The day when we say, Dad, we're here too. And every year at Father's Day, I ask myself the same question. What the f does my dad want? Dad already has everything he needs. The other Try Guys really don't know what it's like to be a dad. And if dad wants something, he'll just buy it for himself. Obviously, I'm not the biggest fan of babies. I uh, have never been in the past. They all have pets, and so they kind of think that they know, but they really don't. But, but I do have a dad, so I can relate to that. I can relate to having a dad, but I've never really found much of a point of these holidays. I've never really had to get my dad a gift because I myself am such a gift. You know, my presence is a present. So since we all know Ned equally well, I think this is anyone's game. So the rules for today are, we have to stay under a $50 spending limit and it's got to be able to be delivered by Father's Day so he can open it. So let's get to searching for something we can buy him online because lots of stores are closed right now for good reason. I am going to first find some research. I want to know what the best Father's Day gifts are for 2020. The fancy sauce. He does like to eat and grill. You know, I know that Ned really loves grilling, right? Especially right now. What do I know about Ned? Ned loves barbecuing. He loves grilling. Well, I've been I've been doing a lot of gardening lately. That's been fun. Ned is kind of a conventional dad in a lot of ways. He likes football. I like cool electronics. Always a big tech nerd. Ned loves his wife. Ned loves his baby. That's it. <laughs> a 16 inch chainsaw. Okay, let's have a tool set. Oh, 60 bucks for a hatchet. That would have been it, right? I would have been like, sure, I'll get him a hatchet. I do want to call out that our definition of what is dad uh, is pretty much centered on a very heteronormative cisgendered perspective. I'm noticing that the aesthetic that they assume for dads is very woodsy. Very log cabin. That's totally fine. My dad is exactly the same way. I send him crab legs pretty much every year. So I think if they get a gift that they think that I would enjoy, it'll be great. Make your own hot sauce kit. What is he, Keith Havers burger? I don't think so. No way. I am gonna be the only hot sauce supplier for him. Thank you so much. If they get a gift that's like what they think a father would enjoy. Hmm, a leather apron is pretty dope. $160. They're probably gonna miss the mark. Maybe I can look up something that I can customize that really speaks to who Ned is as a dad. What if I just got him water shoes so that his feet don't step on pebbles in the water in the water in the lakes? A anti brush your foot massage. Now there's one thing that Ned doesn't believe in. What? This is something where you can build yourself a Game Boy? Oh my gosh, that's it. So I just stumbled on a Japanese A5 Wagyu steak, but maybe I can find him a single steak that costs $50. Maybe there's something that I can get written across the underwear that's very Ned. That way he can cook it himself. I know he loves to grill, but no one's ever gonna buy themselves a $50 steak, especially one that's not cooked yet. Brick, it's $60, that's too much. I can't do that. All the customizable ideas I have as jokes are gonna take too long to ship because they have so much production time that's needed. We don't got that right now. I think that's close enough where I'm gonna do it. Well, this is, I'm so excited for Ned. This is incredible. So I've been looking and I've decided I don't like any of the gifts online. And then I thought, what did I used to get my dad? No, what did I used to make my dad? So what I've got to help me out here is I've got a paint set. I've got some paint. I've got some macaroni and of course a picture frame so i am driving to the store to get my very special father's day gift for ned i changed my mind from ordering online i want to go just pick up something for ned and i'm going to get him a really nice steak the best steak i can get for 50 bucks i was struck by brilliance after searching for so long online i know exactly what he daddy fulmer needs to make his father's day the most special in history even during these difficult times i want to show ned that you can have better art from your kids. And so I want to make him something that feels like it was from his son, but it's just has that certain je ne sais quoi 
you know? I want to get that hoity-toity steak. I think that I'm going to give him the most perfect Father's Day gift in history. Happy Daddy Day. <gasps> Daddy's favorite. Uh. Okay, gang, what do we think? It's pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. So I'm at the store. I've gotten Ned's gift. It fills up half this cart, uh, but I'm not gonna let you know until he opens it. I think it's perfect. I'm wondering, should I add color to it? I have all this paint, but I'm afraid of ruining it because I've already glued it. No, I'm just getting a, a really nice steak for my friend. Oh. Thank you. Bowie, Bowie, don't you walk away from me. Don't you, don't, don't. Oh, ooh, you are in trouble. All right, everything fits in three very heavy bags. And done. But of course, I need the finishing touch, a beautiful photograph. And I can think of just the one. Now, before we open the gifts, I gotta say thanks to Norton360 for sponsoring this portion of today's video. The last time the guys gave me a gift, they broke into my house. One of the most important parts of being Santa Claus is sneaking into people's homes. In today's connected world, privacy and security are big concerns. The side door is the kitchen. That's probably going to be the point. And the personal information you think is being kept private, like passwords, account numbers, and browsing history, it may actually be getting exposed. This is the door, this is the door, this is the door. Because password protection doesn't block cyber criminals from hacking into your devices or stealing the info you send and receive over Wi-Fi, even if you're connected in your own home. We're in. Plus, companies can track your online activities and target you with ads. That's why Norton 360 includes a VPN with bank-grade encryption, safe cam to help block PC webcam takeovers, real-time device security against existing and emerging cyber threats, and more. Keep prying eyes out with Norton 360, multi-layered protection to keep your personal information private and more secure. Save up to 50% on Norton 360 for the first year. You can buy it now, go to Norton.com to learn more. Thanks to Norton 360 for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's go open some gifts. Okay, let's call the other guys. Hello, everyone. Hello, Whoa. happy Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to get me such considerate gifts. I'm very excited. I have no idea whose is whose. They're all in the same pink wrapping paper. They're all in the same size box. Probably on purpose. I think mine will be pretty obvious. Oh, you mean I'll be able to tell once I open your gift? Any good gift, you'd be able to tell who it came from, right? Because it truly would be from the heart. I don't know that that's always true, but I appreciate <laughs> the sentiment. All right, I'm gonna be judging these gifts on three categories. Thoughtfulness, creativity, and is it for daddy? I I hope it is. Really, the best gift would have been like an experience. We did think about breaking into your house, but coronavirus. As long as no one gave me like a, a multi-tool. That's the standard dad Ooh. gift though. Oh, we definitely all considered it. In honor of all parents out there, just learn how to manage your expectations. Eugene, it's the thought that counts. All right, let's get into it. Oh, a present for me on my day. Aww, it's money! <laughs> yeah! What's inside the tissue paper? Aww, that's nice. Probably Zach framed a photo of himself and Wes. Aww. The fact that it says dad and it's, it's another man with my child is a little confusing, but I think it's really sweet. It's made with macaroni art. Why is it coming off on my hand? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Did you do it like 20 minutes ago? Not like, oh, it's rough around the edges. No, this is wet paint on my hands. Hypothetically, someone may have been very busy trying to start a Don't talk to me about right? busy. Don't talk to me about busy. I am the daddy here. I am the father. Oh, daddy mad at me. It's very sweet. Thank you so much. I do want a wet wipe. Thank you. <laughs> Thoughtfulness. Uh, it's not particularly thoughtful other than it is a photo of Wes, which made me biologically feel things. That's kind of a cheat code, but I will give a lot of creativity points to the use of remaining budget via straight cash. I was confused, but ultimately grew to love it. Make it rain on us, daddy. Pesto wants you to make it rain, daddy. Rain on us. Woo, yeah! Oh, daddy. Oh. Daddy. Oh. daddy. Daddy. Yes, daddy, thank you, daddy. And is it daddy? Well, you tell me. 
On to gift number two. What nice wrapping paper. Wow, you didn't have to get me anything. No, we literally had to. Yeah, mom said we had to, so we had to do it. But we wanted to, Ned. Oh, oh, oh interesting. What very nice steak. Whoa, beef American Wagyu New York steak. $50, whoa. This is a, a special treat for daddy. When daddy does a barbecue, so much is about cooking for others, which is part of the joy. But it's stressful. People need things from you. They want things. They want things a certain way. But this, this gift, it's not meat for everyone. It is meat just for daddy. I mean, look at the marbling. This is very nice. Eat it raw. Eat it raw. Come on, daddy. Eat that raw meat, daddy. I do kind of want to eat it raw. No, daddy. No, no, no. Hey, no, I said grilling was one of the main ways that I celebrate Father's Day along with like so many other fathers out there. This is very nice. Very, very thoughtful gift. Is it creative? I mean, it is just a, a steak. I don't know if that's particularly creative, but I didn't even know that they sold these at the supermarket. I think this is very nice. And is it daddy? Pretty daddy. I love that it's just for me. It's a special treat. After I cook all day for everyone else, I also get to enjoy daddy's special slice of beef. I've been purposely not looking at your faces to not try and read your expressions, but we'll see. Maybe the third gift will tell it all. Let's move on to the third gift. Oh, this one is heavy. Wow, that one's very heavy. Is it like workout equipment? Because that would be appreciated. Ah. Oh boy, wow, this is exciting. I don't think I've ever received a gift this heavy. Oh, wow. It's a box full of avocados. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I also know it's sort of a gift, but it's also sort of a reference to the time that you guys pranked me. An avocado. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so I don't totally appreciate that, but maybe I can think of it as the avocado is the little baby. Oh my God, it's a beautiful, beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. It's a beautiful. And you're hoping that I have a dozen little babies. And the box is full of avocados. I mean, it's, it's a <laughs> lot of avocados. It's so many. Also, was two of your ideas to just go to the supermarket earlier this morning <laughs> and see what you can find? No. Ned, the pandemic is tough. Things are very hard to get shipped within a week. You're right. Things are hard during the pandemic, especially for parents. Is it thoughtful? Not really. By definition, thoughtful. It's relating to a thought about you. It's certainly creative. I would never have thought to get a whole box of avocados. Is it daddy? The only way in which this is daddy is the fact that it's sort of related to a metaphor of every avocado being a baby. Otherwise, it's just kind of a random box of avocados. But Santa first gave you the avocado, right? What else is Santa known as? Father Christmas. Hey! Oh! And you daddy. love Christmas. The ultimate daddy. Thank you guys for some great gifts. Very thoughtful, very creative, and very acknowledging of the fact that I'm a dad. That said, I do have some rankings. <clears throat> I really don't know. Let me just mute you guys for a second. <clears throat> Three really incredible gifts. Uh, it's gonna be hard to pick a winner. Two of them are food. One of them is straight cash, which I could use to buy food. There is a West moment here that made me feel things. The avocado, I didn't feel as much, but then when I think of the avocado as Wes, I still feel things. Wagyu, I've never seen anything like that, but does it really make me think about being a dad? I don't know. It's gonna be tough, but I'm about to announce my final rankings. Okay, in third place, I pick the avocados. Who gave the avocados to me as a gift? It was I. Ah, thank you, Eugene. Thank you very much. The best part about this gift is it's a lot of avocados. I didn't realize the callback was so traumatic, but as the person who gets pranked on the most in this group, I will say no regrets. I think the joke is still strong because it's so funny. It, you, do you guys know that I have an alarm system now because of that video? Hey, so we help. Yeah, safety is first. All right, moving on. And the winner of the Father's Day surprise 
prize gift challenge is the steak. Yay! Which means in second place is the photo of me with the money. A really thoughtful gift, Keith. I, I love that it was all about me. I can actually enjoy it after the video is over. Congratulations, Keith. You are daddy's favorite. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yes, Keith. You are daddy's favorite. Woo. And Zach, you know. Congratulations. Oh. The, the, no, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go Zach, ahead. Oh, Zach, the, the macaroni art did come off on my fingers, and I think if you had just given me the picture frame, you would have been in last place, but he gave me the ability to make it rain, even if just for one moment, and that was pretty fun. That's not all, Ned. There is one more gift. Oh, what? One more gift. One more gift. Oh, thanks, you guys. Forever thankful for you, XOXO, Zach, Eugene, and Keith. Happy Father's Day. Oh, thanks. See you guys. Well, being we're a happy. Father is actually about being selfless. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want some avocados? Yeah. The whole staff is nodding pretty excitedly about this avocado parade. Yeah. Avocado parade? <laughs> Let's take it out with an avocado parade. We have learned today <laughs> that dad's best and daddy is what daddy does. The avocados know that daddy's true. Daddy's true. He's the best there is. And daddy's day is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And let that be a lesson to you. Happy Friday! That's right! Happy Friday! Mm -hmm.